Hello everyone, it's Uncle Jeff, and it's a beautiful day in Oregon, and have I got a story for you. Let's get to it. Story is Dog Man, Chapter One. So let's get to chapter one of chapter one. Dog Man and Harold. Beep, beep. Luke and Andrew's furniture rolls up to the cop station. Oh boy, my new co couch is here. She's a real beauty, Chief. I know, it is. We put it in your office. Thanks, fellas. I can't wait to be the first one to sit on my new couch. Calling all cops, come to my office. You can watch me break in my brand new couch. Oh boy, this is gonna be great. Hey, there's people already on his couch. Officer Knight and Greg the dog. You got dirty shoes and dog hair is everywhere. You were the worst cops ever. Get out of my sight. Oh man, Chief is really mad at us again. I wish we could do something heroic to impress him. But look at that, they're in the sights of somebody's binoculars. It's Petey's secret lab and what do we see? That cop and police dog are back. Who cares, says Petey. Aren't you, aren't you worried about those two? Heck no. Check this out. And there's the little chalkboard. Officer Knight is a tough cop. You see, they've got it all outlined there. He's got a Kung Fu grip uh, and he's got boots that were made for kicking, but he ain't got no brains. He's dumb. And Greg the dog is smart, but his body is his weakness. You know, he's smelly PU, he's got fleas, he can't drive a car, he can't punch. Yeah, but what if they work together? Hmm, that might be a problem, says Petey. Unfortunately, I have a solution, a bomb. And Petey puts down the bomb and says, help, it's a bomb. And of course the officer Knight and Greg run to defuse the bomb. Greg, as we know, is not that smart, says, hmm, which wires sh should I cut, red or green? And the dog just growls a little bit, grrr. Okay, it's green then, and so he snips it, and kablooey, the bomb goes off. Oh no, he says, I forgot, dogs are colorblind. He doesn't know which wire is green. But the ambulance picks him up, and the ambulance gets him to the hospital, how do you feel, friend? Rough. Yeah, me too. Soon, the doctor came in with some super sad news. Oh, I'm sorry, Greg, but your body is dying. And to the, to the officer, he says, and your head is dying too, cop. Rats, I sure hate my dying head. But just when all seem lost, hey, says the nurse lady, why don't we sew Greg's head onto cop's body? Good idea, nurse lady, you're a genius, hooray. So they had a big operation. The doctor cut off Greg's dying head and, uh, excuse me, Greg's head and sewed it onto the cop's body. What a lucky day, said the nurse. And soon, a brand new crime fighting sensation was unleashed. Hooray for Dog Man. See, now we got the dog's head on the cop's body. And the news spread quickly in the newspaper. Dog Man is the world's greatest cop. Rats, said Petey, I'm unwittingly created the greatest cop ever. Fortunately, I know just how to stop him. The next day, well, well, there's the chief reading the newspaper about the greatest cop. So you're the world's greatest cop, eh? Well, you better watch your step around here, bub. Chief wasn't so impressed. 
I'm going to keep my eye on you. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? What's a dog do? Licks him in the face. He. <laughs> but the chief was not happy with that. Get out of here. Poor dog man's day had started badly, but things were about to get worse. Ha ha, said Petey, what's so funny? Today I'm going to destroy dog man once and for all. How? Tell me what all dogs are afraid of. Hmm, firecrackers? Well, yes, I suppose that's true. But dogs are also afraid of vacuum cleaners. I built this baby last night. Gee, I think firecrackers would have been easier. Who asked you? Um, you did. Petey didn't like to hear somebody else's better answer. Um, this has thousands of dollars of the latest technology. But firecrackers only cost five bucks. Enough with the firecrackers. The vacuum is way cooler. And once I turn it on, it will chase dog man. And it won't stop until he gets sucked up. Ha 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 ha. Zoom away they go. Oh, dog man. Let's get ready to Roomba. And dog man sees it. He sees it. He gets excited and he starts running. Go on and run. You haven't got a chance. This vacuum has a 600 horsepower motor and an endless power supply. And the bag expands so it can suck up almost anything. Hmm, Dogman heard the word almost and he got an idea. Well, let's see, he can go toward the ocean or he can go toward the city. He decides to go toward the ocean. And there he's going toward the ocean. Gulp. Oh, he ate the surfboard. Dude, a giant vacuum cleaner just swelled my surfboard. Bummer, dude. The surfer dudes didn't like losing their surfboard. But Dogman jumped in the water and the vacuum followed Dogman into the sea. Hey, let's get out of this water, okay? I can't swim, said Petey. Cats don't swim, they don't like water. Besides, this vacuum cleaner isn't supposed to get wet. No fair, says Petey the cat. Dogman dived down deep. So the vacuum cleaner started sucking up the sea. The big vacuum clap bag got fuller and more full and fuller. Meanwhile, under the water, Dogman was losing the battle. He was getting sucked in to the vacuum and gulp. The vacuum cleaner won the war. Or had he? Look at how big that bag got. Petey says, I got to get out of here before this bag of seawater busts open. And he's running, running, running to get over the big bag. And he starts slipping and he tries to grab on with his cat claws but they ripped the bag. Suddenly the vacuum bag began to rip. Rip and pop. Petey got washed away in the super tidal wave. It looked like this was the end for Petey. But look at that, Dogman saved him on the surfboard. Hey, you saved me. You're not such a bad guy after all. I've got one word to say to you. Click, oh, rats. Got him with the, with the handcuffs. He is under that. So here we go with the fliparama feature of this book. The tidal wave got smaller and smaller until it ended at just the right spot. Hey, cops, dog man. Captured Peter, yippee, this calls for a celebration. For he's a jolly good doggy, for he's a jolly good doggy, for he's a jolly good doggy. 
But don't think anybody can deny. Well, Dogman, I guess I was wrong about you, said the chief. Put her there. And he licks the hand because he's a dogman. Hooray for Dogman. And that's the end of chapter one of, of Dogman. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me get out of here. As I was saying, that's the end of chapter one of Dogman. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.